Hello, Dr. David McFadden here from the Dental Implant Center in Dallas, Texas. And today I want to talk to you about overtreatment planning and second opinions. How many of you have had uh, a treatment plan presented to you that was completely out of line? At least you thought it was out of line. So maybe you went to a new practice, thought your teeth were pretty good, and at the end of the consultation, you were told you needed five or $10,000 worth of dentistry uh, that you didn't even expect. Or maybe you've been going to the same dentist for 10 or 20 years, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, your mouth is a wreck and you need $10,000 worth of, of treatment. I'm sure it strikes you as odd. And sometimes it can be maybe the doctor sold the practice to a new dentist who's much more aggressive. Maybe they signed up for a new practice management uh, company as consultants and they're encouraging the doctors to look for more work than, than they used to. Or maybe you even thought to yourself, did Dr. Smith buy a new boat? <laughs> but whatever the reason, I see patients on second opinions frequently who it took that huge treatment plan from their existing practice to make them stop and think, well, maybe, maybe I should get a second opinion. And I encourage all patients, even patients who see me the first time, I encourage patients to go get a second opinion and sometimes even a third opinion. And there's many reasons for that. Sometimes we don't trust our instincts when it comes to doctors and dentists. Uh, the average person, I think, believes that, that dentists uh, are all ethical uh, and we have virtues that many, many don't have. And so we trust our doctors more than we should sometimes. And so even when your spider senses tingle uh, about a relationship that doesn't feel right, you tend to ignore those, those uh, feelings because you think that we're all trained the same that we were all raised the same by our parents, that we all have the same ethical standards. And of course that's not true. So, like I said, go get a second opinion, go get a third opinion, make sure that you feel good about the, the relationship that you're about to enter into. So as long as we're talking about second opinions, I would encourage you, if you need anything more than a filling or a cleaning, to see a specialist. There's a specialty called prostodontics, and I am a prostodontist. It's a specialty of dentistry that focuses on the restoration and replacement of teeth. We have three extra years of education uh, as opposed to a general dentist, and it's all focused on replacing and fixing teeth. So if you really want the best possible treatment plan where, you, where hopefully it's the fairest treatment plan for you, go see a prosthodontist for the second opinion.